for uh, stopping by my channel. Uh, this is a follow-up part two to the brown and sharp tapered adjustable parallels. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the first uh, video. It was a uh, it was a tough video for me to make because uh, I just took pictures and progressed on and it went over some time uh, and using the surface grinder and what I was going to do and, and uh, using the uh, Herman Schritt, Herman Smith to radius the wheel, all those things. It's not something I do every day, uh, not do very often. And so uh, I didn't really get to film a lot of it, but I tried to at least piece a video together for you. Um, the, I really want to thank Tom again for the uh, set of gauges that uh, he gave to me. What a, what a hell of a nice friend. Uh, I got to have a shout out to Carl, who uh, we had a lot of discussions about it. And then uh, also uh, Chewy, my uh, mentor. Um, and he's doing pretty good these days, um, just to follow up on him. Uh, when I talked about cutting the uh, parallel on that four and a half degree angle, uh, being it hardened, uh, he says, put it on the surface grinder. Uh huh. And he goes, yeah, put it on there. And he goes, I go, well, I don't want to cut in the mag, and he goes, it's, well, it's 115 thousandths, go 110 thousandths, and snap it off. And so I, that's basically what I did. i got to thank Chewy for te teaching me that. I never thought of doing that. And uh, uh, as you can see, I chickened, though, and put it up on a magnetic parallel, transfer parallel. That way, if, if I damage the parallel, I damage the parallel. But um, let's have a little discussion about uh, using these using these um, tapered parallels. Now, here's a ring gauge. It's uh, 750 thousandths. And uh, I borrowed this from Carl. And we're going to go ahead and use the tool. But let's talk about measuring a bore here. And I'm no expert, OK? Home hobbyist here. So first off, uh, you need to check your, your mic. I have a digital mic here, stereo digital mic. Here's a 750 thou gauge block. I checked my mic. My mic's on 750 thousandths, right on the number. That's a start. So how else can we measure this bore? Well, the regular calipers, got them set to zero, put them in the bore, get a read. And this, this is a, this is a, uh, a real touch item you know with uh, your your use and ability all the time right now I'm only getting 740.75 just doing it real quick here I did fool around earlier I got 749.5 and that's probably a luck of the draw you know these these aren't these are just guesstimators in a in a real world but they get close so that's one way of checking a bore another way of checking a bore course is a telescoping gauge and another super touch item no different than the caliper how you feel it in the hole pulling it out of the out of the bore after you pull it out of the bore the touch that you use on your on your uh, micrometer is you you don't squeeze you just want a basic little rub right to read I got 749.7 right there so that's another method. The, the other, another method is if you have gauge pins. This is a 750 gauge pin. It's out of a Deltronic set. The Deltronic sets, uh, I think there's 24 pins in total. They go plus and minus above 750. This 750, well, of course, a 750 will not go in a 750 hole. It better not, huh? So, and I'm not going to try shoving it in there. But let's go on to the, uh, the tapered parallels. So, basically, you got the two, two angles. It tells you on the chart which ones to use. And you slide them together and you put them in the bore. Pull them so they tighten up. And they're nice and straight in the bore. Come on, Charlie. And then you take and read your mic, mic over those. I've mic'd them, and basically I'm reading just under 
Okay, I think my camera shut off on me. Now you can read over the over the uh, parallels, and I've done it, and it reads just under 750. Believe me, I'm not even going to go through it. Okay, so these these will also work if the bore is shallow. I'll show you here, and that would be an issue sometimes. But if you had a shallow bore, you can get them to work in the shallow bore. It just depends on the depth and the adjustability of the parallels. Pretty cool tool. Um, really, really, really nice. Now, we did have a discussion of whether or not you could use a regular adjustable parallel. And that's where I it kind of got Tom in the whole discussion originally. After I saw him show the tapered set, I talked to him about this. I talked to Carl about it. talked to Chewy about it. I don't know if the camera will get there, but you can see there's not much meat on the top of a, uh, a adjustable parallel to put in the radiuses. And that's what I was thinking about doing. You can, you can, of course, put it in a round bore and then attempt to read over the points. Not an easy thing to do. Uh, that would take a lot of time, a lot of practice. Uh, and I don't know about the uh, reliability on it, but that's my uh, that's the end of my yakety yak on this. Um, really a cool tool. Uh, I'm uh, happy to have it in the arsenal with everything else. I know it'll come in handy for some quick measurements. And uh, like I said, I got to uh, do the best that I could to re to to uh, match the uh, tool. And there went my lights. <laughs> All right, this film, this video is now over. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Oh, there's my, uh, <laughs> there's my safety light just came on so I can find my way out. And I do have a, uh, I do have a light right here above me. Should have had that on, I guess. All right, all you guys shake your head going, idiot. With the light that times out in his shop. Thanks again. Hope to see you on the next video.